<laughs> well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Whipping Post open box. I am a huge fan of Whipping Post. The only thing I've actually had from them for quite a long time is this bag right here. I figured I'd bust it out and show you guys. This is my Whipping Toast Whipping Toast? Whipping Post Tote. I will leave a link below for where you can find it. This is one of my favorite things. These little guys are not from Whipping Post. Um, this is a little key ring with my initials embossed on it. And this is from Target. Target? Target. I can't talk today. Um, this is from the company called Belkin. If I can find it, I will leave it linked below. It's actually a USB charger for my phone. So, Anyway, this is this bad boy. I love it so much. I travel with it and it is like my favorite little thing. However, I bought something else. So I had asked, I think on, I think it was on Instagram. I had asked, I posted a picture of what I was buying and said, hey, do you guys want to see an open box? And everyone said yes. So I figured I'd open it for you guys and I'll explain why I got it in just a second. I didn't cover up my address because I'm horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the box. Let's get into this. On the front of this box, it says, do not use blades to open. Well, how am I gonna open it? Like mind control? I'm not, I'm not that good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like slice into it just slightly. Um, and let's hope that things don't get damaged. So yeah, I mean, I guess I could use like a key or something, but I don't have any keys with me right this second. So, all right, let's just, here slightly just graze the top of it okay let's hope it worked out i'm gonna put it over here and then i'm gonna open this bad boy this is a big box y'all okay so it comes all nicely wrapped in this like craft paper Ta-da! like this <laughs> wow this is huge and then this says hope it's hope it serves you well and then there's like a little patch I got this last time when I ordered this guy. Um, I have had this for, I don't know if I said this before, but I think I've had this for almost three years now. Um, and it's really, really nice. Okay, so it's like a box in a package. So let's open up this package. Oh, it's so beautiful! Oh. Do you guys want to see my new baby? Look at this! Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, I zoomed out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. But look at this beautiful, beautiful bag. Oh my gosh, I'm like obsessed with it. It's got these little pockets on the sides, both pockets. So beautiful. And it smells so good. <laughs> Leather goods smell amazing. Um, it's got this little handle, which is great on the back of the briefcase. It also has whoops like a little slip pocket. I Think this is gorgeous. Okay, let's get into it. How do I open you? Okay, so just unclip the front and you open it up and there are two more slip pockets in the front a bunch of stuff in the middle, so let me take the stuff out of the middle. All right, so all the stuffing is out, and then it comes with this over-the-shoulder strap, and then obviously it has like this little thing here, which is embossed with the whipping post tote, or whipping post, um, I always keep saying whipping post tote because that's what I have here, but this is one of their, I believe it's a, just a briefcase, I don't know the exact name of it, but I will link it below for you guys. Um, and then it has this little strap, which is nice because I'll probably be using the strap more than I will be using the actual handle, but you can actually take them off if you want to. So if you want to just use it by the candle, you totally can. So when you're inside the bag, it has a bunch of other organizing pockets, which it has like a zipper right here that you can put some things in. And then hopefully you guys can see this. It's got three little slots for pens. And then right here is a little bit of a bigger slot. Ooh, there's something in here. Ooh, something's in here. Oh, it's just like a card with their information and then it's got their email address on the back. Cool. And then it is super, super deep. I will put the dimensions below and the dimensions is really what sold me on this bag to be 100% honest. 
The reason I ended up buying this bag in particular is because, hold that thought, I'm actually gonna put this bag right here because it makes more sense. Oh look how pretty it is, it's so pretty. Okay, so let me go into the reasoning of why I purchased this bag. The reason I got this bag is because now with my new employment, I am gonna be uh, carrying my laptop back and forth for work. Um, it's just easier for me and honestly, I have been using my other whipping post bag, but my laptop is a 15 inch MacBook Pro and it's just a little bit too tall and it's very cumbersome. So I wanted to get an actual like briefcase bag where I can have my laptop in a soft sided case, which I actually bought one from Amazon already. Um, I have it, I love it. Let me guys, let me know if you guys wanna see how I pack my work bag now that I have this glorious thing um, in a future video, cause that's something I can definitely do. But anyway, I wanted to make sure that I could fit my soft sided case as well as the laptop into a bag. Um, it was just really cumbersome to like bring my big bag like into Target and things like that. I just have like a little tiny wallet. If you guys have seen my cash clip system videos, um, I'll link that my most recent video below. I'll, I can show you, you can see how small it is. It's just so much easier to bring that in, but then also I felt uncomfortable like leaving my exposed MacBook Pro in the car, you know? So I figured if it was like just a bag like this, you couldn't see inside of it with this other bag that I have behind it, it's just open. So you could kind of tell if it was either just a plain old MacBook Pro sitting in there or if it had a case over it. So, I mean, obviously nobody knows what's inside of here if I were to just run into Target really quick. So this made me feel a little bit more comfortable as well as I'm obsessed with the pockets. I'm all about a good pocket. And I think for travel, I'll probably be using this versus a backpack or anything else because of all the pockets and all the organizational things that are inside of this bag. So in the future, I could probably do a organizational video as well of this bag of how I pack for a plane ride too. So yeah, because either way, I'm gonna bring my laptop even if it's on a plane or if it's going to work every day. So. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see those videos and I can um, get them up in the near future for you guys. And just to let you know, I did look around at other briefcase bags. Honestly, the other ones that I was looking at were just so incredibly masculine. I mean, I tend to like very industrial looking accessories, to be honest. So I don't mind that look but it was just like too sleek. Um, I almost wanted something that just looked really worn. Um, this doesn't look super worn yet, but it will at some point. Um, kind of like my other bag, it like has worn in really, really nicely and I love the quality of their stuff. Um, also, I look at reviews as well and you know, they all had really positive reviews on this particular bag. It is a little bit expensive. I think it was around the $300 mark if I, want, if I remember right, um, but again, if you watch my budgeting videos, you know that I budget for things like this. Um, and then this is one of those things that in my kind of category of clothing, this kind of went into my category of clothing because it's something that I wear or an accessory. So um, I hadn't purchased anything in like my clothing category in a really, really long time besides like a $15 t-shirt here or there. So um, my clothing category budget had been um, pretty well stocked, if you will. So then with the job change, it actually made a lot of sense for me to purchase this and I know I'm gonna be using it every single day and I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of it. And this is one of those bags that I feel like is gonna look even better as it ages. I had also read reviews online for other bags of uh, different companies and you know, kind of the reviews were mixed. And since I already owned a Whipping Post bag previously, I knew what the quality was like and I really, really enjoyed the look and feel of the leather and the quality. So all in all, I am super, super excited about this bag. I will leave all the links of where you can find it down below if you're interested in checking it out. Also, let me know if you guys are interested in those other two videos that I just chatted about. So let me know if you wanna see them. But I'm so excited to bust this out. And by the way, I was really good. This box actually was delivered on a Wednesday and it's now Saturday. So it's been a few days that I have actually let this thing sit before I like sat in on camera and opened it because I said I was gonna do an open box video for you guys, so I wanted to really wait. So in the meantime, I am gonna bust this guy out on Monday. I'm so, so excited. So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you. All the links of all the things I just talked about plus more will be in the description box down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a good old thumbs up 
and subscribe for more videos from me. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys. I am also in the middle of Vlogmas, so I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. If you've checked them out, I will be vlogging until the 31st of the month. If you are watching this totally out of order and Vlogmas has ended, the Vlogmas vlogs still live on the channel, so you can check them out if you really want to. And who knows, you might actually see this bad boy in one of the vlogs. <laughs> especially since I'm gonna be using it every single day. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. I hope to see you guys in the next video, so I will talk to you later. Bye guys!